So I'm at the soap treatment store to get a mani and a pedi, which is necessary because look. I'm eating a pedo chipo. <laughs> Good morning! It is Tuesday and I have a day off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you guys around what I'm doing during the day. Outfit of the day. Shoes are from Superga. Pants is H&M. Top is actually a body. Off shoulder is from Misguided. Headband is from Sasha Earrings May And I got this coat and I have no idea where it's from I got it like at least three years ago It was just a cheap ass coat But it looks cute with my Pulse Boutique shopper bag Okay, off we go to Amsterdam store to get a mani and a pedi which is necessary because look not if you can see but it is really needed uh, so I'm very excited good time to start my morning I just got home and sorry for not like vlogging in between because I was in a rush Ooh. I was in a rush all day due to public transport not coming on time because I always schedule my stuff so I get there like 30 minutes before the um, planned time but it just wouldn't work today, so just got home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let me just put you in here. That's easier. Um, so first I went to soap treatment store um, to get a mani and a pedi with OPI products. So when I was there, I not only did the mani and pedi, which have you seen how cute this looks? I love this color. It's from their new, or fairly new Lisbon collection. And I did it in a gel polish, but you can also do it in a regular polish. And I actually have the regular no polish color at home. So I'm very happy because it's kind of a orangey red. I just love it. Okay, I put it in my bag, so sorry. It doesn't look that cute anymore. But um, I got a new base coat. This is the Neil Enfi, but it is for healthy maintenance because I have a lot of nail treatments, but you're not supposed to use them constantly. So I thought, let's just invest in one that I can use all the time. And I finally invested in a really good um, glass nail file. I usually used to use, wow, what is it? sentence uh, I normally use the hair own one but that one uh, you cannot wash it because as soon as you wash it I guess like the uh, crystals dissolve so it doesn't work as good anymore this one is really crystal completely crystal on both sides and um, you can just wash it so I invested in a good one and it even gave me 30% off which is Amazing, so thank you soap treatment store. I went to the one nearby the train station um, and it is in the Spuistraat in Amsterdam. Then I went to an event from Prince PR and got this goodie bag. I haven't checked it out yet because I was in such a rush. Um, 
got some information from Face Forward. Uh, it was from Face Forward. And yeah, that is one thing. Gotta give you a little bit, teeny, teeny little bit of knowledge. The normal human being brushes their teeth about two times per day. Girl, or at least I do. But in the regular toothpaste, nine out of 10 times, there are a ton of chemicals. You brush your teeth to clean them, but you also swallow a part of that chemicals in. So we're actually hurting our body twice a day. You're brushing your teeth, thinking you're doing something right when you're actually digesting chemicals. So this is a brand that I never heard about and they did a presentation and it's in a goodie bag. Um, it's from the brand called Le Bon and they have all natural uh, toothpaste. But not only that, they also have them in different flavors because why are we used to using a minty flavored toothpaste just because that's normal but we don't eat the same things, we don't drink the same things, we can also bring some spice into that. So I got a pack of, as far as I can see, three. And let me just get them out. Le bon. Which ones I got. Look how cute. This is the mint. So this is the regular one for the people who just love old school mint and freshness. But look at how cute the packaging is. It is amazing. See how fancy this looks? Like seriously, fancy schmancy. Then, then I got introduced to a brand that I wish I knew already, but I just don't, uh, which is Mel and Goots. Um, and I got the revitalizing eye gel, which is pretty cool. And from a brand called Dr. Jackson's. I love this packaging. Let me unravel it. Let me just do it in a neat way. What's in it? What's in it? A really old school, like organic. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I'm drop, dropping everything. Let me see. It has a car. Oh, it has like minis. Yeah, these are minis. It has the night cream, the coconut milk, and a baobab rose oil. And there are three teas, which also has a relaxing tea and a detox tea. So let me just try to get it in there. See? So thank you, Dr. Jackson. Um, I need to eat. I need to eat. I'm gonna take a shower. I gotta put some chill clothes on and then I need to edit something. Uh, send out some emails because I had zero time checking my emails. So do that and then go to bed early because tomorrow I need to go to work. Normal life begins again and I'm super tired already. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, I need to edit a video and I have to do a voiceover. That was what was important. I, totally forgot make my planning for next week already so plan in my social media content and yeah let's just get started so i decided to redo my hair don't really ask me why just because i decided to do a twist out on wet hair I'm trying out some new products um and going to bed early i'm very very tired have you seen my skin already it's clearing up so nicely Thanks to the treatments that I have at Image and their products. Um, but I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm very tired. I have a lot of back pains. And it's just because I'm tired. Then I put all my stress in the, my lower back and then it hurts. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna take you with me tomorrow. Which is gonna be pretty boring because I'm, I'm gonna go to work. So see where I, what I will vlog then. Hello. So I just got home and I'm eating a broche pom. It's a Surinamese dish, but I have so many thoughts in my head, what I want to do, um, how I want to do it. And I just have 
kind of an off day because it just doesn't seem to get out of my head but i also i'm not finding the solution how to do these things so i had a call with uh, agnes which is actually one of my best friends now that i've come to figure out um she lives in malaysia or she moved there so there's a huge time difference but we talked for like an hour and a half just about random stuff sorry the burp but you know she always makes me want to do better and i think we work like that towards each other not only you know um from one side but both sides and now i'm like okay <sighs> calm down think different snap out of it the negativity um, and just start writing down your thoughts and that's what I'm doing right now I'm thinking about purchasing a diary but I want to find like a cute one for now I'm just typing it and see what I can get out of that um, but just to have it in paper gives more clarity or at least that works for me so that's what I'm going to do then I need to do groceries added a video for Dyson which is go going to be online already as soon as you have seen this video um so go check it out and call it a day i know it's so boring but i work i work like i still have a job a regular job working on it though but yeah that's what i'm going to do it is wednesday or thursday and i'm at uh, the parfois store because there's an event at the end of the month and I'm allowed to pick out a cute outfit and some accessories so that's what I'm going to do. Amsterdam. I'm on my way to a photo shoot that I have. Uh, the only thing is that I have been suffering from a headache for this is the second day now and it's super annoying but we're gonna push through. Um, I'm meeting up with Ines which is she's a photographer from Lisbon from Portugal and she reached out to me that she was in Amsterdam for the like for about five days and that she wanted to shoot so super nice i'm very excited um and I'm ready to go and after that just gonna chill and have some dinner probably but yeah that's it i'm away this i look super basic but i don't know i like the orangey kind of thing it makes it look kind of grungy but now we're waiting for the metro I discovered that I did not end the vlog of this week and it's already the week after so oh my god I hate this spot I hate it um I want to thank everyone for watching thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs I'm trying when it feels good I'm vlogging if it doesn't feel good I'm don't vlog so please do not expect me to do it weekly but i do it whenever it feels right for me and i want to share things so without further ado thank you guys for watching love you thumbs up if you like it and see you guys in the next one bye